now good morning dear students once more i welcome you on my channel english with shivi in our previous class previous video i have taught you the part 1 of the chapter 4 of behave first studying the chapter i want to request you to like my all videos to watch to have the knowledge through my videos please subscribe my channel today we will start from the ninth paragraph of the chapter 4 one of the famous papers of 1905 was einstein's special theory of relativity according to which time and distance are not absolute indeed to perfectly accurate clocks will not continue to show the same time if they come together again after a journey if one of them has been moving very fast relative to the other from this followed the world's most famous formula which describes the relationship between mass and energy before this paragraph the writer albert einstein was in the job of assisting the professors the inventors to keep the wonders to keep the papers properly but he was there to have the wish that once he will be there to do the work in this bureau in this theoretical lab now one of the papers of 1905 not even he was keeping the paper secretly but he was getting the knowledge he was having the different views and he was collecting the views once he was keeping the paper he saw a paper it was of 1905 when einstein's special theory of relativity it was the paper of einstein's special theory of relativity according to which time and distance are not absolute in this there were the issues which were written on the paper that the time and distance are not accurate and absolute yes indeed these two perfectly accurate clocks will not continue to show the same time he was also saying and he was also agreed to say this thing and he also was wanting to say that yes if two accurate clocks will be there they will not be there to show the time accurately the same time if they come together again after a journey if to the other he was saying that if they come together again after a journey if one of them has been moving very fast relative to the other if they will be there to keep togetherly if one will be slow and one will be fast then they will have the differ time so from this followed the world's most famous formula which describes the relationship between mass and energy from that time it occurs to have the new formula about the mass and energy i think you are also learning about this in your science classes so this is the formula e is equal to mc square so this is the formula which is related with the mass and energy and which is related with the clocks with the special theory of relativity with the timing and accuracy so he was there to give to have the views to give the knowledge to take the new and to achieve the new inventions about this while einstein was solving the most difficult problems in physics his private life was on raveling albert had wanted to marry melivia right after finishing his studies but his mother was against it now his personal life was disturbing again to solve these formulas these problems in phys he was wanting to get married after the study after college but his mother refused to do the marriage he was eager to marry with melivia but due to his mother's view he was not there to have the marriage she thought melivia was who was 3 years older than her son was too old for him she was also bothered by melivia's intelligence she is a book like you his mother said and stein put the wedding off her views were accurate because she was 
Melvia was three years older than Einstein. So he was not there to get marriage. One reason was also there, she was too much clever. She was just like the book, means every time everything she is cramped like a book. As the book is there to read all the things, we can also see that Melivia also there to have all the knowledge, all kind of knowledge like Einstein. Means these two intelligence and the elderness of Melivia were the two reasons not to get married with Einstein. The pair finally married in January 1903 and had two sons. But a few years later, the marriage faltered. Melivia, meanwhile, was losing her intellectual ambition and becoming an unhappy housewife. After years of constant fighting, the couple finally dis divorced in 1919 and stand married his cousin Elsa the same year. The pair finally married in January 1903. At least they were eager to get married. So they got the marriage, they did the marriage in 1903 and they were having two sons. But after some years, after some time, the marriage faltered, means it was failed, it was weak because Malivia was losing her intellectual ambition. Now he was not there with Malivia and Malivia also was not there to have the knowledge to have the strength she was also losing her strength her intellectual ambition and she was gradually becoming unhappy she was feeling that she is having an unhappy life after years of constant fighting the couple finally divorced in 1909 after 1600 of marriage they got the divorce they were there to fight with each other in six, these 16 years, after 16 years, now they got the divorce and Einstein married his cousin Elsa in the same year. Einstein's new personal chapter coincide with his rise to world frame. In 1915, he had published his journal Theory of Relativity, which provided a new interpretation of gravity. An eclipse of the sun in 1919 brought proof that it was accurate. Einstein's new personal chapter. Now Einstein's new personal chapter coincide means it was collapsed with his rise to world fame. He was getting the familiarity, the fame in the world and this also new relationship, the second life, the second wife, the second marriage also was collapsed. In 1915, he had published his great theory of relativity. Now he was succeed to give the publication his theory, his gravity, his general theory of relativity, which provided a new interpretation of gravity. Now this was there to give the new knowledge, the new theory of the gravity. An eclipse of the sun in 1919 brought proof that it was accurate. Einstein had correctly calculated in advance the extent to which the light from fixed stars would be deflected through the sun's gravitational field. The newspapers proclaimed his work as a scientific revolution. So, an eclipse of the sun in 1919 brought proof. The theory of Einstein was there to prove and the sun was there, the sun eclipse was there in 1919. Who gave the new knowledge, who gave the proof of this accuracy? Means the old papers were wrong and they were proved wrong and now this time Einstein was accurate and correct. Einstein had correctly calculated in advance the extent to which the light from fixed stars. Now Einstein had correctly calculated in advance. He had the knowledge to calculate all the things, all the time, all the mass energy in advance and he gave the light to the another person, he gave the light on the fixed stars, they will be reflected, they will be shown, they will be there to shine in the sun's gravitational field. Means now he was there to give the knowledge, to give the pre-thought to everyone that when the stars will be there to shine around the sun. 
the newspaper proclaimed his work as a scientific revolution that time was the first time when he was there to got the news in the newspaper to be printed that this got the great achievement and this was the great science revolution which was done by einstein einstein received the nobel prize for physics in 1921 he was showered with honors and inventions from all over the world and lauded by the press einstein received the nobel prize now he was getting more and more and more prizes and he was doing the more and more practices about his physics and theories and relativity and another experiments now he got in 1921 the nobel prize the great prize now he was showered he was blessed with the honors with the respect with all the invitations from all over the world now he was too much famous to have the invitations from all over the world and now he was there to give his time to be given the advertisements for the press now he was there to have the introductions by the scientists by the another press reporters or journalists and now he was too much famous when the nazis came to power in germany in 1933 and stein immigrated to the united states 5 years later the discovery of nuclear fission in berlin had american physicist in an uproar when the nazis came in the power in germany means when the nazis struggled they came to accept to achieve the city the country germany in 1933 they have to leave the city they have to immigrate they were immigrated means left one's own country in order to settle permanently in another like the birds did ha huh? or the like like the sea animal uh, sea birds does so he was also there he, now he was immigrated now he moved from the from that city from germany to the united states he was there for the 5 years after the 5 years the discovery of nuclear fission in berlin had american physicist in an uproar in an uproar very upset in an uproar very upset now this indian scientists the the american physicist were in upset mood because now they were having the nuclear fusion the new discovery of the nuclear fusion in berlin many of them had fled from fascism just as einstein had and now they were afraid the nazis could build and use an atomic bomb each and every one every people of that country having the fear in their mind and heart because nazis were there to have to build the nuclear bomb and through that atomic bomb through that atomic bomb he will blast he will give the roar he will give the destruction through that all the country and this germany at the urging of a colleague einstein wrote a letter to the american president franklin d roosevelt on 2nd august 1939 in which he warned a single bomb of this type exploded in a port might very well destroy the whole port together with some of the surrounding territory at the urging of a colleague for the rest- uh, requesting of the colleague now einstein was there to write a letter to the president american president whose name was franklin d roosevelt it was the date of 2nd august 1939 he write a letter he wrote a letter he writes a letter and in which he was giving the warning he was saying that the single born bomb of this who made this bomb the nazis so he was saying this type of bomb the single bomb exploded in a port might very well destroy the whole so together with some of the surrounding territory he is saying that this will be the too much high power to blast means it when it will be exploded in a port then all the near about surrounding territory will also be exploited through this bomb his words did not fail to have an effect 
the Americans developed the atomic bomb in a secret project of their own and dropped it on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August 1945. Now each and every one were there and his words, Einstein's words were not there to be failed. Everyone was there to be alert and the government gave the notice to make the another bombs. So Americans developed the atomic bombs like that and in their secret project. They invented the atomic bomb and they dropped it on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. So through Einstein, only the Einstein, this bomb was made and each and every one was saved and the government was there to give the award to have the knowledge of this kind. Einstein was deeply shaken by the extent of the two destruction. This time he wrote a public missive to the United Nations. In it he proposed the formation of a world government. Einstein was deeply shaken. Now he was shaken. He was heard by the extent of the destruction. Means there was too much destruction. It was not of his own city, not of his own country. Even then he was shaken, he was hurt. This time he wrote a public message to the United States. First he wrote the letter to the president. Now this time he wrote the letter to the public message. Message means public letter to the public person of United States. In it he proposed the formation of world government. Now this time he was there to have the knowledge to give the Notice to the public to propose the formation of the world. The world government should be there to make. Unlike the letter to Roosevelt, this one made to no impact. But over the next decade, Einstein got over more involved in politics, agitating for an end to the arms building up and using his popularity, sorry, popularity to campaign for peace and democracy. From that time, he was engaged in politics. He wrote the letter for the public, for the public, for the public, for the people of that country. But no one was affected through this. Unlike the letter to Roosevelt, this made of no impact. No impact was there. No impression was there to anyone except the Roosevelt. But from the neck over the next decade, Einstein got more involvement, more interest in politics and now he was there to give the knowledge, to give the ideas, to have the safe country. He was now building up his arms, he was now giving the popularity to the campaign, to the groups of the persons to have the peace and democracy. When Einstein died in 1955 at the age of 76, he was celebrated as a visionary and world citizen as much as a scientist genius. As a starting, I said that not only he was a scientist, he was a good nationwide people. So when he died at the age of 76 in 1955, he was celebrated as a visionary and world citizen. Means he was awarded that he was the visionary person, he was a world citizen. Not only he thought about his life but he thought for over his life for all the person of his country and he was not as a scientist but he was much more above as a scientist. So after the death he was rewarded and he was there to achieve the goal. His life was too much precious. So you will also have the promise to give your life to the needy, to the health person. Please be stay with me. That's it for today. Bye-bye.